Hello everyone, and welcome to French Fried Trains. Today, we're going to be doing something a little different, and we're going to be building a rocket. And we're going to be building one of my favorite rockets, the United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy here. And we're actually going to be building it blasting off here. And it's pretty tall, so it's hard to all get in one frame here, but this is what it looks like. And it's actually pretty simple to build, it's just tedious. A lot of repetitive motions. So let's get right into the build here. So I'm going to be making it blasting off here. You can also just build it on the ground if you want. But I've just made a simple pad for the bottom here. So we'll take a temporary block. This is going to be the center of your first engine. Come up as high as you want to. And then take out the temporary blocks and put out a shroom light on top. Then we're going to raise the shroom lights up vertically in a column. And you can make as much as you want. This is the fire coming out. I did 15 here. Then on each of the four sides of this, starting at the top, I'm going to make some shroom lights coming down. And I'm going to make them different lengths on all four sides. Just kind of eyeball it how you want it to look. So the fire doesn't look all squared off. Then we'll take orange stained glass panes and in these corners we'll do columns of orange stained glass panes here to round it off. And do that on all four sides here. Then we're going to come underneath here and on the sides of this main column we'll put differing lengths of stained glass panes coming down just so this fire doesn't look so blocky. And like I said, you can make this as big or as small as you want. Just so we have something looking like this. Then on top of it, we're gonna do the engine and we're gonna need polished deep slate blocks, stairs, and walls. We're gonna put a column of two polished deep slate blocks on all four sides like this then a column of two walls in each corner. Then on top, we're gonna use our stairs in an outward facing plus shape like this. And that's the first engine. Then put a quartz brick block in here and another one on the top middle. Then we'll grab iron bars and we'll put one iron bar on all four sides of this block here. Then on top of this, we're going to do a plus shape of smooth quartz blocks, three blocks wide like this, and put a wither skeleton skull on all four sides. Then back to smooth quartz, and we'll raise this plus shape up one more layer here. Then we're going to put upside down smooth court stairs there and there, and then here and here on this side. Then above this, a 3x3 three three of smooth courts. And on the sides of it, three upside down stairs of smooth courts on each side, leaving these corners open. So it looks like this. On top of this, we're going to go back to smooth courts blocks. And on each outer edge, we're going to do a three by two on all four sides. Then on top of that, we'll do a layer of iron blocks around it. On top of that, a layer of gray concrete on all four sides. Then on top of that, a layer of white wool coming all the way around. Then above that, a layer of mud brick blocks all the way around. Then above that we'll do a layer of acacia planks all the way around. And now is the main part. We're going to go to orange wool and we're going to raise it up in a column to mark off our height. And then we're going to do 24 blocks tall of orange wool. And 
once you got 24 blocks tall. We're just going to fill in all these sides with orange wool. And we're going to make them 3 wide and 24 blocks tall on all 4 sides. So now we're actually starting to get big and look like a rocket here. Once we're done with that, on top of this, we'll do a layer of acacia planks coming around it. Then a layer of mud brick blocks. Then above this, we're going to switch back to smooth quartz blocks here. And we're just going to go all the way around it with smooth quartz. And we're going to go four blocks tall with our smooth quartz. Then, on top of the smooth quartz, we'll do one layer of mud brick blocks. Then on top of that, we're going to do two layers of orange wool. And finally, one more layer of mud brick blocks. Then we're going to come back down to the bottom here. Now, we're going to come on what other side you want the front to be. On this mud brick in the center, put a mud brick wall. Then we're going to do a column of red sandstone walls coming right up the side here. And this is the gangway on the side of the rocket for all of the electrical that runs down it. When you get here, another mud brick wall. Then, four diorite. And finally, another mud brick right here. Next, we're going to round this off a bit. So come down here where this white wool layer is and put a white stained glass pane in each of these four corners. Then above that, put a brown stained glass pane in each of the four corners. Then above that, we'll go to orange stained glass panes on all four sides and we'll raise it up to the top of the orange section here just keep it coming up until it's with these acacia planks. Then do that on all four sides. Once we have orange stained glass panes to the top of that section on all four sides, come back up here. On here, put a brown stained glass pane in each of the four corners. Then above that, four white stained glass panes in each of the four corners again. Then above that, we do brown on each of these layers of mud brick in all four corners with brown stained glass panes. And we'll fill in these gaps with two orange stained glass panes on all four sides. So we're fully rounded off all the way to the top here. And that completes the build for the single booster stage here. What we need to do next is use the structure command to copy in or just build two more of these exactly the same way. Like this. Except we're going to be making sure we leave one single block of space in between each one. And they're aligned vertically here. So now we're going to work on the nose cones for these side boosters. So on top of this side one, we'll do a single layer of smooth quartz coming all the way around it. And then on this other side one, but not on the middle yet. Then. On the center of this, on the next block up, we're going to do a 3x3 three three of smooth quartz in the center and make that two blocks tall. And then same thing on this side, a 3x3 three three of smooth quartz in the center and we'll make it two blocks tall. Then on all four sides of this, we'll put two layers of three white stained glass panes. And 
just come around with it here. And repeat the process on this side, on all four sides of this. Two rows of three white stained glass panes on all four sides. Then on top of this 3x3, three three, we're going to go around it with outward facing smooth quartz stairs so they wrap around all four corners. And then do the same thing on this side. Then we'll go ahead and put a block in the center and a smooth quartz slab on the top middle. Same thing here. And now the side boosters are completed and they should look like this. And now that each side booster is complete, we're going to work on the middle here. And for that, we're going to go back to smooth quartz blocks here. We're going to come on top of this with smooth quartz blocks and mark off our height here. So right here, we're going to make a column of smooth quartz coming up. That's going to be 11 blocks tall in total. And then we'll go ahead and make that three wide. And we're just going to come around each side three wide with smooth quartz until we raise it all up to that 11 block height. Like I said, this ain't hard to build, it's just tedious. And now that that's done, we have to actually connect these. So we're going to take out deep slate tile walls. We're going to come in between right here and put three walls in this gap, three walls in this gap. Then across here, three birch fence gates, three birch fence gates. Then take out the wall behind it that was just for placement on each side. And same here, three birch fence gates here, three here. Take out the wall behind it on each side so only that inner wall remains. Then we need to connect them on bottom, so come down here. Right here where the iron blocks are, three walls here three here, then three fence gates here, three here, and take out this wall and this wall. Do the same thing on the other side. Three fence gates across here. Take out this wall, and then three fence gates across here, and take out this wall. And now they're all connected up, and we're going to come back up here. We're going to come right above these fence gates with white stained glass panes and continue up with stained glass panes to the top in this corner. And we'll do that on all four sides so that we keep this nice and rounded off. Just keep it coming here. Just like that. Now we'll come on top of here and we'll do two layers of orange wool on each side. Then above that, we'll go back to smooth quartz and do three layers of smooth quartz on all four sides. Then in these corners, we'll put two orange stained glass panes in each of the four corners. Above it, three layers of white stained glass panes in all four corners here. Now that that's done, we'll start on the top nose coat here. So we're going to go to smooth quartz block again, come on top. We can go ahead and just fill this in. Then on the center of each side here, we're going to do a column of three smooth quartz coming up on the middle of all four sides. Go ahead and fill this middle with a 3x3 three three up to the top. Then go to white stained glass panes again and on these two corners put three stained glass panes and just come around and do that in all of these corners here.
then we'll come on top of this and put a single smooth quartz block on all of these outer blocks like this. Then above this, a 3x3 three three of smooth quartz in the middle. Then we'll put an outward facing smooth quartz stair on the top center of all four of these, like this. Now, come on top of this, and we're going to do a 3x3 three three of smooth quartz on the center here. Then, above that, we'll do a plus shape of smooth quartz and raise that up three blocks tall. Then, white stained glass panes in all four of these corners. Then, on the top here, we're going to put an outward facing smooth quartz stair around a central block on all four sides. And finally, a polished black stone slab on the top middle. And now the whole rocket is basically done. We just need to do all the decal work. So we need to make a bunch of banners and I'm just gonna throw a temporary loom up here so I don't have to keep going to the bottom. So come into a loom, white banner and blue dye. We're gonna put a vertical on each side and a horizontal on bottom. New banner, horizontal on bottom, vertical on the left. New banner, vertical on each side again, then a horizontal on the top, and the middle. Then we'll put a white border on all three of these. And we'll come place these. So on this front side here, right here, we're going to put ULA. And we can do that on the other side here. So put ULA right here. Then we can clear those off and come back into a loom. We're going to use a white banner and blue dye, do this bottom triangle, and another one with the opposite triangle. That's for the ULA logo, which will go right above the letters, so we're going to put a blue banner in the center, and a triangle on each side, like that. And of course, we'll do the same thing on this side. Then we can clear off those two banners. Now we need the NASA logo, so we're going to come back in, this time with a blue banner and red dye. Do this diagonal, go to white dye, horizontal on the center, go to blue dye and put a blue border on it. Then we're going to do white banner and red dye, and we're going to do three horizontal stripes, then make the top half blue. Then another white banner with red dye and just three horizontal red stripes. So we'll come on the side right here above this, on the center, place this blue one right above it. Same thing right here. Then we'll skip a block up and use the other banners to make an American flag like this. And then same thing on this side here. And now all our decal work is completed here. So it should look like that. And go ahead and take off that loom. And there we have it, folks. We finally completed our United Launch Alliance Delta IV Heavy Rocket. Something a little different here. And while it's not the first rocket we've done, the other one we did was laying down on a train, so this is the first vertical rocket we've done. I hope everyone enjoyed this different kind of build. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And everyone, have a great week. Stay safe out there.